What even is that eternity's list? <laughs> Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailman affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos, instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles, and more. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back down to the last three keys. Three, only three keys left. Oof, let's see how we do here. This is Persian slash Cryogonal Control. And I have zero expectations. We will try to keep rage to a minimum in the last, last keys. We'll see what happens. Fire deck box could be sent to Scorch. That's a little scary. All right. It's not sent to Scorch, but it is Crescephalon. So what's my strategy against Crescephalon? Definitely item locking. Right, trapping something and item locking. Like I can trap Jirachis, I can trap the Tenes, Crobat, or Ikorios with Galarmine and Absol especially, so we'll see. We'll see. Really gonna make an effort not to rage at all. Okay. Just whenever something goes wrong I'll <sighs> Alright, so not a bad start. Not a bad start, I would say. Okay, so I definitely want to establish this friend, right? So I can draw cards. And I price both of my swap blues, that doesn't really matter. I also price a cryogonal, that could matter. All right, so that will help me in drawing cards. And I guess I'll establish a Pidgey. I also priced Pidgeys. And let's draw some cards. All right. All righty. So Munchlaxes, multiples of set Munchlaxes. After Iogonal, we see the Welder. So my Meowth is probably gonna go down, right? That's what you would expect. I would have loved to see a giant hearth getting played. See the scoop up nets. But that's okay. Like you, them discarding energies, that's what matters, right? That is what matters. All right. Like they can't infinitely win with spit shot, so that's good. Okay, so Meowth goes down as expected. Not the biggest biggest of deals I would say all energy lost that's way 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 more impactful no supporter for me at all which is kind of sad so I'll start drawing some cards with PG Odo okay I'll take this into Caitlyn that's reasonable okay I won't be needing the triple Right, I will not be needing Pidgeot this game, so get rid of the triple, draw three cards, get a capture. What does the capture energy really get me? Another Meowth, I guess. It does get me another Meowth. Well, it actually gets me Absol. I think Absol is better here. Because then it's a natural um, two retreat costs right here. And then let's go ahead and intro. I'll bench the other Munchlax. 
And I'll retreat into the other Munchlax. Honestly, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play the color of mine. No, I'm not. Alright. So I get a boss. So at any point I can go boss with Cryogonal onto a Jirachi. I will actually be able to get a KO. I mean not a KO. I'll be able to stall for six turns. So we see a Blastephala now. We see a switch. Okay. I mean, them using up switching cards is actually not ideal. Ah, uh, not ideal. So I wonder who they target here. Okay, there's a giant card. They do play the first stadium, so that's also good news. That is also sort of good news. Pricing one cryogonal is actually an issue. It's not gonna be pretty, that's for sure. It's not gonna be pretty. So I wonder if they go after the Absol right here. I like that immediate revenge of the Jirachi. <laughs> okay, so they, they have back to back to back welders. Welder turn one, welder turn two, welder turn three. Okay, they go after Pidgeotto. Don't mind that too much. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. I can go search. Boss onto this guy. And then do this. Getting rid of this, getting back the boss, right? Uh, okay. Definitely want to do this. And then I feel like I'm gonna go for the cryogonal right here. I'll do this. And then I'll go ahead and interrupt it. Okay. Well, I get the immediate ordinary rock back the cryogonal, which is nice. So yeah, if I can go boss on the Jirachi and use Cryogonal, that's six turns that I'm guaranteed to have of them not doing much. And now there's two Jirachis, which is great. Now there's two Jirachis, which is great. I do have less cards though. I don't know what my end game is though. They they haven't benched the Dene, they haven't benched Crobat, they haven't benched Story Choreo. Those give me a lot. Those give me a lot of like potential. Okay. Just grabbed Crobat. Now they're putting it back. No, they're putting back to the Dene. Mars Shadow, that's all right. That is all right. So that's two of their stadium counters versus one of mine, right? And that Crobat being there is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. And they play a stadium, perfect. So it's three stadium counters to my one so far. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Okay, they do Welder. Okay, so they really want to go after the Cryogonal. Seems like they will be able to... Seems like they will be able to 
it's all right. Not ideal, <laughs> right? Not ideal, but it is what it is. And just immediately put it back and then go bird keeper, hopefully find a quick ball. That would be very nice. Oh, they go after Absol, okay. I actually don't mind that at all, I don't think. Because now my play becomes dull. Bring up Cryogonal, boss, and this guy. This is 17 turns, okay? This is 17 turns. And as long as I have another boss, then that's six more turns, and that should be game over. That should be game over. Well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's a third giant hearth right there. Oof. Do they have their fourth raw welder? Do they actually have their fourth raw welder? Right now, right here, right now. Well, if they do, they, they can't KO me, right? Anyway, so that's all right. That's all right, 10 energies down for them. It's gonna come down to me bossing over and over. And I can put back the Absol as well. That's also gonna be huge. They also have way less time than I do at the moment. Which is also another factor. Five minutes. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long. Okay, so they pass. That's all right. Nice boss. Nice, nice, nice boss. Nice Galar mine. Absolutely perfect Galar mine. Do you wanna use... No, they don't have any way to manipulate my hand. Okay, so they did take the time to retreat. They're down now three hearts and one Marsh Shadow. Do they play another Marsh Shadow? I hope they don't. It's, we have 15 more turns here and then we go boss on a Jirachi and that should be it. Or they run out of time, right? Either or. Okay, well, they're only one, that's fine. Crobat's retreat cost is currently three. And like, this guy also discards, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and play them. One, that's really good. Wow, getting very lucky here. Getting very lucky. What? Okay, <laughs> PTC Joe just goes from you get Don Pablo to um, here, have three hands in a row. <laughs> so I was just playing in the Limitless weekly tournament. I was playing Munchlax, right? Probably mistake number one, like mock control Munchlax. And I flipped, I kid you not, like seven tails in a row. Seven tails in a row with Munchlax's uh, snack search. So I lost, <laughs> clearly. Seven tails in a row. That's a lot of tails, you know? Like, that's a lot of tails. Okay, so as long as we click fast, I think we've won this now, for sure. Like, after discarding that many energies, they can't play Fire Crystals. I don't know how many they play. Usually it's anywhere between 16 and 18. I have double boss in hand. Um, they would need to go, they would need to somehow retreat. They're down all four welders actually. Yeah, this is game over. This guy's never dying. I think it's game over. I think it's game over. They also have three minutes. I'm happy with plus one. I'm happy with plus one with this. 
I'm happy with plus one. Okay, so for those of you who have been keeping track, right? I guess I will technically... Oh, oh wait, I have Bird Keeper. I will technically spoil, right? This, which is... Um, the, the... 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 The last two keys, okay? So for those of you who have been keeping track, the last two keys are Sentiscorch VMAX and Pika Rom. I did not do it on purpose. I ran... I did a list of 50 decks. I randomized them. Okay, I completely randomized them. Ooh, they're gonna boss me again. I have Bird Keeper. I have Bird Keeper, that's their last potential out to get out of the item lock. That is absolutely their last potential out to the item lock. Um, it does mean that I will be... Um, like, I will have less cards, but I have the Ordinary Rod, so it's fine. And I have the Dolls as well, but it's fine. Yeah, I have less cards, but I can just put two back and then that's enough. And I can even Quick Ball to put a third back. Like, I can Quick Ball the Energy and then I Ordinary Rod to the Energies back. And we should be good to go. <laughs> and I have Double Ordinary Rod, so... And I have more than... Yeah, I have an extra five cards to put into my deck. I have an extra five cards to put into my deck. I'll discard the water, fail it, and then I'll show the ordinary rod. Maybe that will make my opponent um, quit. Because now he'll see that I have more cards left. Like, I don't think it matters that I KO the Krogan now. They are down four welders. They are down four welders. Notice how I priced two swapples. <laughs> a little unlucky. Only a little. Only a little. Is there something that I'm missing? I feel like I might be. I feel like I might be missing something. I kind of want to just KO the Crobat for show-off purposes. Like, I don't have to until next turn, but... One minute and a half left. Am I missing something? I mean, fine. They play four hearts and Mars Shadow. That is insane. <laughs> that is actually insane. That is actually insane. All right. I hope that well played means they've lost or not. They're going to play an obscure card that all of a sudden beats me. I really hope that's not what they're referring to. <laughs> I can also retreat into the doll and then ordinary rod three cards back. Okay, we're good. We are good. Plus one so far. Nice, 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 nice. And we are going up against Carlos. Guaton Martini is actually a direct competitor in the player's top, he's a Latin American player. I actually don't know where he's from. I just know that he beat me <laughs> in the last player's cup, I think, or in the first one. I don't remember exactly, but... All right. All right. So, my opponent is choosing to go first which means we might be up against ADP. We might be up against ADP. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start this swap blue. I will immediately probably reveal if they have a counter to it or not. I also have the capture to get another swap blue. And I could try and risk the single Altaria depending on what I'm up against. We'll see, yeah, we, we shall see. We shall see. Hopefully I didn't price two Altaria this time. <laughs> I 
Best case scenario, it's either look metal or ADP without an Altaria counter. Mm, it's Eternatus. Okay, so it's Eternatus. It's Eternatus with Evil Doll. And Spirit too. Okay, so we're not gonna uh, bother with Altaria, probably. Uh, we're not gonna bother with Altaria. Or maybe we will. They didn't attach energy, which is fantastic. Actually, never mind. We will bother with Altaria. So I'm gonna do this. If I kill the thing, then that's also pretty good, right? And I'll put the Pidgeot back. I have a lot of ways to disrupt them, my opponent. Like a lot of ways. Definitely benching the Absol so that they don't have free retreats, and then we'll go Intrepid. Uh, the Stadium could be very important for sure. Four, 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 for sure. Trapping something like a Crobat. The thing is, Crobat can attack. Crobat can absolutely attack. So maybe attacking with Altaria will be the way we win. Okay. They chose to do that, that's fine. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's fine, I guess. Um, wait, Pectos 20. <laughs> Pectos 20, okay, so I'm gonna Cynthia Caitlyn, right? Cynthia Caitlyn, the tool scrapper, I don't think that's gonna be useful right here. Okay, so I get Galar Mine. All right, so I'm just gonna establish a Pidgey. So they are playing it slow and steady wins the race, right? I wanna start with the disruption. I'm gonna start with a disruption. Okay, so I get Altarium. Don't have another energy. I do have a boss though. Because I can deal with this guy doing 30 damage. Clutch, two hit KOs me. I two hit KO them if I get the first attack off. That would be the ideal. So this will, this will definitely be interesting. This will definitely be interesting. Now they have their free treat back. So if I kill enough spirit terms, I can have boss. I could go aggro Altaria. <laughs> I could actually go aggro Altaria here. Okay, dangerous drill, they chose a stadium. <laughs> They chose the stadium and they're playing hammers. Oh my god. They did dangerous drill in the stadium and then they didn't. Um... Okay, so you counter stadium, that's fine. But then dangerous drilling that was really good. Okay, they have a lot. No, why? They hadn't done anything and now my hand gets completely crushed. Come on. Okay, sorry. No raging, no raging, no raging, Paolo. No raging, no raging, no raging. That was brutal, though. That was absolutely brutal. <laughs> that was absolutely brutal. They could not have gotten a more perfect turn. They really couldn't help. Okay. They could not have gotten a more perfect turn. Unbelievable. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get the other Swablu. I'm gonna put the Swablu back. I could not have gotten a more perfect turn. Oh, I have retreat with the Absol. Oops. 
Okay, well I have double turret now, technically. Oh, my hand earlier was so good. So, so good. This one's gonna be very tough. This one is going to be extremely, extremely tough to win for sure. So I wonder how many balls. What? This guy has Spirit Tomb, Poison, Hoopa, the Stadium, Evil Doll. What the heck are these? I, I swear, I've played against the least standard Eternatus lists ever in the Players' Cup. Like, ever. Oh boy. Okay, I have Retreat with Absol. I need to remember that. I do need to remember that. Okay, so I have double Altaria now, which is nice. I'm just gonna go into the doll. I don't I don't know what my plan is here. <laughs> I really don't know what my plan is. That's definitely part of my plan. Uh bossing up, bossing over and over. It's just they haven't used any switch though. That's the issue. That is actually the issue. Okay, well, there's the first switch. Energy, boss. Ridiculous, man. They have it every single freaking time. It's so ridiculous. It's actually so ridiculous. They have it every single time. All right, well, let's get some use out of that. Let's just get the boss. Okay, so we eliminate a spirit tone. <laughs> we took our prize, okay. Uh, Wow, they just promoted this guy. Does that mean they're gonna KO my Altarium? They didn't promote their free retreater. Okay, 10 damage, 10 damage. That's what they're trying to do. And then find a switch and KO me. Which is fair, right? It's definitely fair. They're also not down any energy, basically. Okay, they just pass. All right. It's kind of nice. So I think I want a bird keeper. They're down only two bosses though. Uh, yeah, I have to bird keeper. Well, I don't have to, but I should. Okay. <sighs> Come on, triple tail. Oh, no raging, no raging, no raging, no raging, no raging, no raging. No raging, no raging, no raging, no raging, no raging. So ridiculous, man. I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> I really don't know what to do anymore. <sighs> well, I flipped the heads, I guess. It's just they're only down one switch. That's the big problem. They were down more switches and this would be fine. Or more energy, but when you flip triple tails. <laughs> Kinda of difficult. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Okay, I mean that at least that's an energy that's not there, right? At least that's an energy that's not there. 
so okay so i guess i should no i should boss the koopa <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Boss. Turbo patch, what is that Eternatus list? You're kidding me, dude. What even is that Eternatus list? <laughs> That's five tails on crushing hammers! Like, that's not even close to average! What is your problem, Pokemon? What the heck is your problem, dude? Sorry about the raging. It's five tails in a row. Six. Ugh. It's just ridiculous, you know? It's really ridiculous. switches down I need a water right here right now if I can get a water this might not be as terrible but pff, come on Paolo Want the card, Pablo? Really? <laughs> nice timing. Nice timing, no water. Also, like they're using that guy. <laughs> I can win. Just let me. Just like, <laughs> please, deck. Just please, just once. I can win. Just once. No water. <laughs> no water. <laughs> Do I even have a water left? I do. I actually do. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> okay, if they KO if they KO the whole life lost. Switch boss game, end my misery.
too late. A little too late. Too little, too hacking late. <sighs> what do I even do? This was brutal, man. This was insane how bad it was. <sighs> it's not fair. It's really not fair. It's absolutely not fair. Play against crap lists. Absolute crap lists. Absolute crap plays. And I get completely punished. I get completely punished by flipping five Crushing Hammer Head, uh, five Crushing Hammer Tails, and then four Munchlaxes, was it, I think. Ugh. I'm gonna say it, my account is rigged.